All right, found the Glock that you've never seen before and probably never will. And guess what? This is not a full auto switch. Welcome back to Class Firearms, guys. Kai over here, and today we're gonna talk about a Glock you've never seen. Maybe you've heard of, but probably not, because I've never heard of it for the first time here at Enforce TAC 2024 uh, in Nuremberg, Germany. I got to see this thing right here in front of me. When I saw this gun, I was like, wait a minute, this looks really different, because we're all very used to seeing Glocks looking very similar from Gen 1 all the way to Gen 5. Just very minute, small differences or yeah, differences. But in this case, this looked completely different. It is the Glock 46 right here. And if you can look at it, this thing looks really weird and different. Look at that barrel profile. Look at that trigger. I'm trying to hold my mic at the same time, guys. So sorry about this whole shaky thing. And look at the back plate area. It's kind of a bizarre looking thing, right? But also look at this part. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Look at that little knob. You know, it's not a safety. It's something different, which we're about to talk about. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this uh, mic, my armpit right here. Hopefully you guys can hear the audio pretty good. So Glock 46, I chatted with the Glock folks over here and they gave me some information about it. So I'm gonna, I'm kind of limited on the information, but I'm gonna try to give you as much as I can. Specifically the Glock, where you cannot disassemble this gun without removing the magazine and also without pressing the trigger. Because if you notice this, there's no notches on the side, takedown pins, they don't exist. It looks completely different. So you really you don't have to press the trigger to get this thing disassembled. Now, I'm gonna try to disassemble this thing. I'll try my best. I'm probably gonna suck at it because it is really completely different. It's not easy, at least for me, to disassemble because I'm used to the traditional way of doing this. So, and unfortunately for YouTube guidelines, YouTube policies, we're not gonna be able to show you this entire disassembly, but you really have to see it. It's kind of bizarre, different. So you're gonna have to go to Rumble for this. So here it goes, there we go. So it's kind of weird, I can't really show you that, but it's, you have to really line it up perfectly. And now this is, uh, the slide is locked to the back. Just simply push this in, lock it, and turn it. And now I can send the slide uh, home, and this gun is good to go. Now, take a look at the uh, rotating barrel. So as soon as I put the slide back, it rotates. It's kind of weird. Now, another feature here is they wanted a trigger that is so long, so heavy, it's a bizarre trigger. I mean, I, I, for me, can't stand it, but there's a purpose for it. They wanted, the, the German military, oh, not, not military, German police forces wanted a safety trigger. And I'm not talking about this little safety here that we we're all very familiar with. I'm talking about this and you're about to see it. Ready to go, Ryan? All right, so pressing, pressing, still not going off, still pressing. It's really heavy, still not going off, pressing, still not going off. There you go. Pretty much all the way at the wall. And But look at the reset, though. Here's the reset. That's it. So there's no slack. You start pressing, that's the wall. You see how long the wall is? Well, how long you have to travel before you hit the wall? Just like right here. And then you apply some pressure, and it's a lot of pressure. There's a little bit of travel, then it goes bang. So the whole point is, you know, if you do have a target or a threat, I guess, you present, you start pressing the trigger, you have plenty of time to, I guess, not have an accidental discharge. Also, I guess some folks who, you know, maybe not as trained, they try to, draw their weapon with their finger on the trigger, you're gonna kind of uh, have that extra safety measure for you. I mean, you should never do that, obviously. It's not a good idea to uh, draw a weapon or put your finger on the trigger without having the intention of pressing it. That's not a good idea. It's a violation of firearm safety rules, but some people still do it, and Glock is trying to get ahead of it per the request of the German police force. That's it. Other than that, everything else looks about the same, like the Glock 19 type frame and the uh, typical Glock sights over here. But it's a bizarre looking little machine here. Let us know your thoughts about this. I want to know if you guys knew about Glock 46. If you did, did you learn something new here? Or what you, know, what you knew was uh, 
different than what I just told you here. Because I'm just telling you this limited information that I got from these guys over here. And unfortunately, I can't have them on camera because they don't want to be filmed. But still, I think it's a bizarre looking thing. And uh, although it's not my favorite, it is something new from Glock. And anytime we get something new, actually new, and I'm not, I don't talk, I'm not talking about some new generation, a couple extra things, actually something different, I, I get really excited. So this is my first time seeing a Glock that is so freaking different. I had to do this video and share this moment with you guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the content. Don't forget to check out cfcontest.com. Good things happen there. You guys should know what I'm talking about by now. If you don't, go there. I'm pretty sure you're going to love what you see. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your business. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.